Hello everybody! Hiya! Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video because, well, I'm currently making this video um, quite a long time before this actually gets uploaded because I'm going to make this video over the course of, I imagine, two weeks. By the time you're seeing this, it will be a long time since I've uploaded a video. Yeah, I, I, the reason being is because I've got this big project which I need to finish for uni and I want to just kind of devote all my time to that. But I also want to keep you guys updated and make a little video about the progress because I think it will be quite interesting. I'm in the middle of doing um, the very beginning stages of this project. Well, not the beginning stages, I'm kind of right at the end of the project, but I'm at the beginning of the end bit, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I will explain this all right now. If you don't know, I'm in my first year of illustration at Art Uni. This is the final project we're doing for the year. So if you've watched my last video, maybe the... No, it's two videos ago. I did this, made this book, which actually I have here. <laughs> This is the book. Anyway, I filled this book full of lots of very, very loose, um, loose, quick, fun drawings all about my dad's bike ride to work, which um, is what this project is about. We had to pick a place or a route, and I picked my dad's bike ride to work because he just, it's a route he's been doing for very, very many years. Thought I would just document this route and kind of all the little stories which have happened to him like, on this bike ride um, throughout the years. And that's what this book is about, which I'm in the middle of making. So these here, these are all my sort of just initial sketches, just dipping my toes into this project. And then I moved on to kind of making a more finished book, but this is still not the finished book. Um, this is still very rough and in the beginning stages but it's a bit more of telling a story which I wanted to do in this book rather than just a bunch of random mishmash drawings these kind of come together and tell a little bit of a story not really but yeah and then I a bit more research I did loads of research but I'm not going to show a lot of it because it's just screenshots from my dad's bike ride um, then I made a little video which is obviously I'm not going to show because kind of let you know where I live and I don't want to be putting that information out there and some more research and more research uh, finally planning out the book and oh I never even said I have to make a 16 page book an A5 16 page book about this place this journey that's the project it's just just some more this is a collage I did and I really liked it and I want to have the illustrations in this book kind of look a bit like this collage these are a bunch of test booklets I mean these are the quickest sketches you'll ever see in your entire life but I made a bunch of these little books which I just basically scribbled in to kind of get a feel for the layout of the book um, like you can see not very good pretty bad drawings um, but they just give me a bit of an insight of you know how the book could look and I did uh, quite a few of them <laughs> they're all kind of stacked up over here this is my sketchbook oh my desk is such a mess please ignore it there's just no point in even cleaning my desk because it's just going to get messy straight away um, right as soon as I clean it up because I need to be doing that and this is the actual final layout of the book which I'm going to follow throughout this video so far I've done these two pages the two end pages a lot to do a long way to go um, but I've planned everything out and I've planned out kind of the colours and the kind of theme and the mood I want to go for on each page so yeah I've planned out what's happening on every single page and now I just need to make it. So yeah, that's what this video will be. I'm going to show the entire making of this book from start to finish, doing all of these illustrations. And hopefully at the end of it, it turns in, out to be something which I really like because I'm quite excited about this project because obviously it's about my dad and um, I don't know, just it's it's quite personal. I want, I want him to like it as well. Um, but these two pages are going to be both the end pages. So this is the front cover and then this here, this is an end page and this is an end page so that's what these two are going to be i wanted something that was kind of not too in your face because i don't want you to open the book and just be like smacked in the face by like this big illustration but i also wanted something fun to be there so um i just thought these were quite a nice little starter to the book so it's going to start with the green map oh my voice cracked then <laughs> start with a green map and this orange line is depicting the actual route that my dad rides to get to work so the buildings are all made up they're not accurate um but the roads are accurate and this um, like the countryside is accurate. Um, we have to make the book on InDesign so I'm kind of been ping-ponging between Photoshop and InDesign here so I kind of edit the illustrations a little bit on Photoshop just to make the colours more accurate and tweak a few things and then I take this into InDesign which is if you don't know it's just a place where you can kind of lay out books. Um, so this is the book. 
a lot of pages to fill. Ah, and here's the first page of the book. If I press W, it gets rid of those little lines. So there you go. I need to just pop in my other page at the end here and fill in all of these blank pages. And I'll do that throughout this video. I imagine it will be mainly voiceover um, because I just want to make and I don't want to have to keep stopping to kind of speak about things but I will pop in every now and then just to give you an update of my progress and my thoughts and my feelings. I'm gonna go and do that. So first page I decided to tackle was this double page spread. I knew it was going to be the most complicated illustration in the whole book so I just kind of thought to myself, get it out of the way, get it done and dusted and also this would help me figure out the colour palette and kind of the style I wanted the rest of the pages to look like so I thought it was just a good one to start on. Plus I was quite excited actually to get doing this one because I've been wanting to do quite a detailed collage landscape for quite a while so this was just a good opportunity to get that out my system. Yeah, just a lot of playing around, trying to find a bit of paper, checking, cutting it down to size, moving it around a bunch until I find a nice spot for it. Um, lots of sometimes I cut a piece of paper that doesn't even get used, um, quite a lot of the time I cut a piece of paper that doesn't even get used. It's a lot of trial and error to figure out what looks best where and um, I kind of just place it all loosely and then stick it down once I kind of have a good chunk done. I went into the sky, I did the sky just in acrylics and then I added just a few bits of paper on top so it had a bit of collage going on. And yeah, this is the finished page. This is going to be two pages in the book, like a double page spread. So yeah, that was page number, I think that's page number three and four, done and dusted. <laughs> Here's the a nice scan of it because the, the video wasn't really doing it justice. And there you go very happy with that. Oh, my room is an absolute mess when I'm doing collages. <laughs> Just paper everywhere. There was paper all over the house when I was doing this project. Paper in the garden, paper in the bathroom, just little bits of paper everywhere you look. Moving on to the next day now, I don't actually, because you know in my week of art videos whenever it's the next day I have a little days of the week pop up so you know what actual day it is but in this video I haven't done that just because there's so much footage and to be honest I'm a bit confused with what happened on what day so just take it from me if it's a new piece of art going on um, it's most likely just the next day. Um, like I said this project took me two weeks to do so this is two weeks worth of footage that I've um, crammed into this video. Yeah so this page I'm doing now I don't actually end up using in the final piece really happy with it um, it just kind of was a bit cluttered and just a bit boring to be honest it wasn't tickling me fancy and I didn't really like how I did the trees I liked them at the time I thought it was quite cool and quite unique the way I was kind of doing the blobs for the trees but I don't know I just don't really feel like it worked with the collage but it's okay all turns out well because I have another attempt at this page and I like it a lot more oh do you like my new transitions I made some new transitions, you know, the, the little flowers that pop up. I made them especially for this video because my old transition used to like swipe and it was a rainbow and then it would swipe again. But I don't know, it just kind of, I don't really use rainbows that much anymore and I've kind of gone off of the colour pink. I still like the colour pink, but because my old transition was pink, <laughs> I still like the colour pink, but I kind of prefer other colours more now. So I just decided to redo my transitions just so they fit a bit more in with the art I like to make now. Um, speaking of the art I'm making now, here's another page. This is, I'm quite happy with how this page turned out. It's one of my favourites. Going in with another quite detailed collage, much like the first one you saw me doing, but kind of doing it from a different angle this time so you could see the layout of the road. I also wanted this page to look like winter, so I'm kind of doing different colour palette and doing the trees differently, like cutting out the branches. Hello! I thought I would do a little bit of real-time speaking just to talk through a little bit of 
the process and what I'm thinking at the actual time of doing these collages. So I've done a tiny little seg section here, which takes me way too long, um, because I have hundreds of colours to choose from, and then figuring out even what shape to cut, and then figuring out where the shape should go. Uh, it's just a lot of thinking. The actual cutting and sticking is barely anything. Most of it is just thinking. So what I do when I'm thinking is, so I have a little section here, and I know that Basically, for this piece, it's it's kind of like a road, a junction in the road. So there's going to be one road here and one road here. So I need stuff over here to, you know, show that this is a road. So I knew I wanted a darker colour to kind of contrast a little bit with these trees. And when I found this, I cut it into a little triangle, a little piece that slots into here. Really, I'm doing this the wrong way. I should start at the top and work down because it's annoying to try and like squidge paper underneath. And then I thought, right. That's worked well. I need another shape now, um, probably a little bit lighter, which is also kind of like a building. That slots in here, and that's where this came in. But originally this colour wasn't the right colour, so I have my oil pastels over here. And I added a little bit of white and a little bit of blue and kind of just smudged it in a bit. So it adds a bit of texture and just changed the colour slightly so it worked a bit better. And I'm going to slot that there. And then what do I have? I need pavement. So for pavement I wanted a lighter colour which was slightly different to this colour. So there's differentiation. Um, and a tiny bit darker but I don't know it's barely any darker. And that's going to slot in there. And then I have this awkward little gap here. So I've got this piece which slots in there and all that took around 10 minutes to think up and uh, put into place and cut uh, so little tiny bits which take a long time to figure out slowly but surely getting there also I have to like this sort of colour palette just comes a lot more naturally to me because I like it nice summertime greens really warm colours that's what I, I like they're my favourite colours so for doing this winter scene um, it was a bit of a challenge to come up with a colour palette which I liked I need to crack on. It's getting quite late though. It's oh bloody neck, it's nine o'clock. So I'm probably just gonna fill up this little section, call it a day, um, and then go to bed. I need to clear all this off my bed so I can sleep. Oh, look at Splodge. He is just he's he's done, he's done for the day. That'll be me, that'll be me in an hour. Um I'll see you when I next see ya. wanted to quickly mention that I have an Etsy shop where I sell prints of my work and the link to that will be in the description.
Hello, voiceovers back again. This is what I'm tackling now. I believe it's page seven and eight. I can't quite remember though. Um, I, I, I didn't really do this book in the right order. I just kind of woke up that day, thought, which page do I fancy tackling today? And that's just whichever one, whichever one, that's, that's the one I did. I was kind of leaving the ones I didn't want to do till last. Um, I kind of put the front and back cover off till last minute. <laughs> Um, this page, I didn't really mind doing though, so I, I didn't really put it off because it was just simple collage. I was quite excited about this page actually because I was starting to use more autumn colours because throughout the book, as the book transitions, it goes from kind of summer to autumn to winter and this one is the page which is transitioning it from autumn to winter and it's just a colour palette which I quite enjoy so I was excited to do this one just because I really like the colours. I love that, the yellow and the kind of bright brown what is i think it's kind of burnt sienna that color you know the two trees where it's yellow and like that that burnt sienna color here's a scan of it again because honestly the camera just was not doing it justice guys I just thought I would do a little bit of a halfway check halfway check-in I'm not even sure if I'm halfway I might be a little bit slightly behind halfway but I thought I'd done enough to kind of talk about it for a little bit so these are all the illustrations that I've done so far this one and this one which I did last night this one which I finished yesterday as well and then these two which I'd already done and this one, actually I don't think I've showed this one properly yet. If I'm being honest, I'm not 100% happy with it. I think it's kind of letting the side down. If I have time, I'll redo it, but I'm not sure if I will have time because I'm very against the clock. I have one week to finish this book now. It's getting very tight. So if I have time, I'll come back to it. I'll try again. You know, that might not be a possibility and I might just have to live with it. I've decided I'm going to tackle the front cover. Um, I've got a plan in mind. I've done the quickest sketch known to man uh, to figure out what I want to do. This one right here, really hard to make out, but I understand it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Another kind of detailed collage. I probably won't go as detailed as this. I probably won't go as detailed as this one. I'll probably do it more along the lines of this one. I was inspired by the front cover I did on this book which you know is the one that I made, um, kind of just really simple hill thing that I did but obviously I'm going to add a lot more detail to it than this one um, but I like the idea of just having a hill and then the little bike on top of it. That's caught you guys up to speed, what's going on? I need to get cracking with the front cover now. required a lot of trial and error much like the page you heard me talking about before which I didn't like and, and didn't end up using this is another thing which didn't get used um, this was me trying to do a front cover I had this idea in my head and uh, I don't know I thought it would work okay but I just wasn't really happy with it it seemed just kind of a bit plain so this doesn't end up getting used and part of me just thought, oh you know what, I just won't include these clips in the video because well, they don't end up getting used in the book. But then I thought, you know what, still include them because it's part of the process. Uh, I had to kind of make these mistakes to realise uh, what would work better. So yeah, this is the front cover. I don't think it's, you know, horrible. I, I, I did like it, but it just wasn't, it was just a bit plain. There was too much white. So yeah, that didn't end up getting used. And talking about fails, this is what you see me drawing here is another thing which doesn't end up getting used in the book. But I suppose in hindsight, I'm kind of glad that this didn't work because it forced me to come up with an idea which I think was much better and they end up really liking the illustration which I do for this page. So just thought I would do a bit of a check-in again. Uh, this is, oh, <laughs> this is past Emily, not to be confused with voiceover Emily, who has been speaking to you throughout this majority of this video. But yeah, this is what I've managed to get done so far. I've plunked it all into InDesign. Things could change from now. Obviously, I need to add text. If I have the time, I might redo some of these pages. I doubt I will have the time. But this is what I've managed to get done so far. Um, I don't know why, but 
InDesign is making everything really pixely, so I, I'll need to fix that because the actual like the actual pictures aren't pixely. If you look at this, you can zoom in and it and it looks all nice, but for some reason on InDesign, if I zoom in, it goes really pixely. So that's a problem I need to fix at some point. But for the meantime, I'm just plunking them in to get a general feel for the flow of the book. So you've seen me do most of these pages. The ones you haven't seen me do. Uh, this one, actually I'll get the proper version and not the pixelated one from InDesign up. Where did you go? Here we go. Originally, I'll pop a little clip in. Oh, actually no, I won't because it's right here. I can show you here. Originally, it was blue. There you can see. But when it is blue, because obviously it's a double page spread, it has to kind of look nice next to this illustration as well. And I just feel like this colour palette kind of goes a lot nicer with the other illustration than the blue one. Um, anyway, so I've done this page. I need to draw a little day here. I'll just do it on Photoshop. Do a little silhouette of a day. You saw me doing before. I don't know. Hopefully you saw it. I haven't edited it yet. A little clip of me drawing in the garden. I was doing this day drawing, um, which I'll pop in a clip of the final piece now. But I really didn't like it and it, it wasn't I don't know, it just wasn't tickling me fancy and I knew I could do much better. So I did this and right now it obviously doesn't have a day but there will be a day eventually and it will go right here. Uh, what else have I done? This page, yeah, I haven't shown myself doing this page which is here. I'll show you the proper version so it's not pixelated. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that it looks a bit weird. Well, I don't think it looks weird on its own but next to this I'm worried that they're too different. Um, I mean, they're both kind of blue, but this is more green blue and this is more like dark navy blue. Um, I think it'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. I've finished my collages and now I'm moving on to, I do these in oil pastels and coloured pencil. But so, you know, this didn't look weird on its own. I've kind of done the star here as well, just so there's a bit of a reoccurring theme of the star. And I'm also going to do the star here like quite big to fill in all this white space to kind of make it like a bit of a reoccurring theme much like the red line how that's reoccurring throughout the book I'll have the star reoccurring so there's lots of little things I need to do I need to add the red line in here I also need to draw my dad on this page somewhere which I'll do digitally I just can't decide where he'll go yet this page I'm not even sure if I'll keep I have been playing around like what if I did it oh what's going on I've been playing around with the idea of like what if I just made this big like that um, and maybe like pushed it up. It's still a lot of playing around I need to do with the like the layouts of some of the spreads. There's also this page which I did. Let me get you a non-pixelated version. Oh, blowing neck, I've just opened up the Photoshop file. Okay, that'll do. Um, here's a page which I've done and didn't film because it was just really simple. Um, I had to edit in like a rip. So there you go, that's my editing skills right there. Quite simple stuff just to make it look like it's ripped. I'm really happy with my progress so far. A few things I want to change and tweak. Um, but overall, yay, happy, happy days, good, 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 very nice, very good, very nice, very good. So I drew another star in oil pastels for this page, um, which I ended up not even using, but the star did come in handy because I edited it on top of this illustration, which just looks a lot better in my opinion because the first one I did was a little bit, a little bit ropey. So uh, yeah, it kind of worked out for the best, I suppose, even though I didn't end up using the star for its original purpose. Um, I ended up using it anyway for that illustration. And this is me finally tackling the front cover again. <laughs> I'd put it off because the first time I did the front cover it kind of, I don't know, put me a bit down in the dumps because I just couldn't really come up with another idea. So I was on the search for inspiration. I was looking through the first book I did at the beginning of this project which was just full of loads of really quick abstract loose, loosey-goosey drawings uh, and I found this page which I really liked and I thought it would work as a front cover so I just kind of developed it, made it a bit bigger and then edited it quite a bit to make a front cover which I like, which you'll see in a little second at the end of the video. This is me redoing the page at the beginning of this video which I didn't like. 
I don't know, it was quite a while ago now, so you might not remember, but uh, there was a page at the beginning of this video which wasn't tickling me fancy, so this is me finally having another go at that page, and I'm really happy that I did because this I really liked. One of my favourite pages in the book, actually, this. I just love the colours and it just it turned out really nice. So I'm, I'm happy that I kind of failed the first attempt to have another go and, and, and make something which I prefer a lot more. Hello again, I decided I would speak to the camera a little bit because ho 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 ho, hold on to your seatbelts, get excited, pull your socks up, make sure they're on tight because I am about to finish this book. Um, but before I do that, I thought I would just very quickly run through all the things I've done because I've done a lot but they've all been quite little things which haven't been very exciting to film so I'll just quickly fill you in of what I've done. I, I had a little play around with different texts and I decided that I just, I thought my handwriting would just be the best sort of feel for this book because I did try out some different typography but in the end I thought my own handwriting lended itself nicely to the feel I wanted to go for so, well first off I actually wrote the book, I mean it didn't take that long it's only like it's like a just like a paragraph long a few sentences but I think it's quite nice and it says what I wanted to say without kind of being too on the nose which I like so I wrote it all out I did quite a few attempts of each one just to make sure I got a good uh, nice options to choose for from my words um, and then I also went through and I mean this is probably not going to show up on camera at all but uh, this isn't white this is a slightly off white I'm sure on the camera right now this just looks white but really if we look down here it's slightly ever so slightly oh hey you can see me hi guys um uh, it's ever so slightly to the to the right of white i also redid this whole page but i'm so much happier with it um yeah so that's a thumbs up uh, i went in and just added all these little things as well like this and like the goose I had to add in separately um I added in a few more red lines oh I also redid this illustration originally it was just the star on its own but I just thought it looked weird over on InDesign now plunking them all in one by one and I've got my last one to put into place so here we go let's do it together um three two one boom and the book is finished that's um that's my celebration <laughs> it's a shame that i can't print it out maybe once i get back to uni i'll print it out just for a bit of fun because i quite like to have this in real life but for the moment i'm just going to have it all digital Here's a bit of a final flip through of all the random bits of paper and bits of art that I made for this book. A lot of them that didn't even actually end up getting used. Um, and also the, um, some of them I haven't actually shown in this video because I did them off camera. A lot of the oil pastels and the coloured pencil drawings I didn't actually film just because this video was going to get way too long. And sometimes I don't fancy having a camera and filming myself all the time. And then here's a little flip through of the pages in my book for this project so you can see a bit of the um, the practice work and uh, a lot of the thumbnails and all the planning that went into making this a lot of work a lot of work has gone into this book and i'm really happy with how it turned out uh, and here's a little practice experimental book that i did at the beginning of this project and i thought it's just fun to see because a lot of the work i did in that um, inspired me to make the final book a flip through of the finished book I would love to have like a, a physical version of it but I don't really have access to a printer that could print this out so I'm just gonna have to have the digital book for now hopefully one day I will be able to print this out so I can have a physical version of it that would be really nice but this is kind of the second best thing I suppose put it onto this website which makes it into an actual book that you can flip through Here's just the original JPEGs of the pages just because when I put it into that website it kind of made them go a tiny bit pixely and they made the colours a bit duller so I don't know it's 
very tiny and it's barely noticeable but I just thought I'd show the original uh, the original files as well thanks very much for watching this video if you made it this far it really means a lot because I put a blooming lot of effort into it if you like this video and you're new to my channel why not subscribe because I make a lot of videos like this and I'm sure you'll like my other videos as well hope you had a lovely day and goodbye